Tell me the story of us. Again? We are going to take over the world. You'll be this awesome publishing mogul. And you'll be this famous modern dancer. Since making a very intuitive decision, we've intellectualized the decision and come up with all these very fancy reasons for it. But really, it was just one of those things that felt right, and we could do it. And it feels like if you can do it, you're not not going to get that many chances to shoot in black and white where someone's like, mm, maybe don't do that. <laughs> I asked you to move in with me. You said no. But I can't. You can. You don't want to. What do you do? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Because what do you do is complicated? Uh, because I don't really do it. There aren't a lot of cultural touch points to deal, talk about it. I mean, there aren't songs about a friend growing faster than you <laughs> or movies about it or poems about it. It's just this kind of ache that has no outlet. And I think that's something that um, we didn't set out to write a movie about um, a friendship evolving, but that just seemed to be the story that was underneath the characters. What are we doing with our day? I gotta get going around five. I thought we were hanging out. We are. All day. I have plans with Patch tonight, I told you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I texted that to you just try to avoid things where it's just like the, the female parts of cipher where you're just kind of not really doing anything and and just there to look nice or something I, I just I, I, I try not to do them just because it's not um, I just don't think it's good for women <laughs> and not to be like pretentious about it I just think it's it's like I, I don't know a single woman who just stands beside somebody and so to portray that in a movie seems to be false and, and rude